In this tutorial, I want to discuss with you how we can calculate the mean and standard deviation of data that are in this Likert type format. And we've all encountered uh, these kind of data because that would be very often used when we do some ratings, some star rating like on Amazon. So for example, you've got uh, stars from zero to five stars, or sometimes it's just from one to five stars, with one meaning the product is not very good and five means excellent. And then we sometimes see how many people have actually voted for this particular rating. And very often we want to know what is the average and also the standard deviation of this rating process. So what we can do in the first place is we can have a look at the data and say, what do the data look like? And in Excel, we can do that with a nice bar chart. So what we do is we highlight the cells that we want to look at. We go to insert and then under recommended charts, it's the top chart. So that's this one here already. And that would be a nice visualization of our ratings. Typically for a bar chart is that the that the bars that we have are separated from each other. Uh, it makes sense because we've got a rating of one, we've got a rating of two stars. So here on the x-axis here would be our stars. And here on the y-axis would be the frequency. or just simply the number of votes in this case, number of votes. And we see that uh, nobody gave it uh, zero stars. Uh, we have 22 people who gave it one star and so on and so forth. So it's a, it's a very nice uh, visualization that we can do with these bar charts. Um, we can immediately see that the highest number for stars are for three stars. And we see that also in the table. Uh, 28 people actually voted for three stars. And that actually would be the mode of the star rating. So the mode would be three. It's the highest number of votes that any of the stars got. So how can we calculate the mean? Uh, we would assume probably that it's around the three star rating. Uh, here's the equation for the mean. So the mean of the star rating equals the total number of stars that have been given divided by the total number of votes. So let's check how many people in the first place have voted. So we just simply can add up the number of votes. So that would be equals and in Excel we can use the sum built-in function. So sum, I highlight the cells of which I want to calculate the sum. And I find that 98 people in total have voted uh, for this particular product, for example. Now, we really have already now the um, denominator here. So that's the number, the sum, the number of votes. Well, now we need to calculate the total number of stars. So we can say, well, the total number of stars here in this case for zero stars is really there are no stars being given for that. For the one star rating, we have 22 people have given one star. So that would be 22 stars have been given here. Eight people have given two stars. So that would be eight times two. So we would get 16 stars. Uh, here we would get for three stars, 28 times three. That is uh, 84 stars. 
22 times 4, that gives 80, that gives 88. And 18 times 5, that gives 90 stars. And in Excel, uh, we can very easily do that by just simply automating what we have just done equals the rating times the number of votes. So I don't have to do that with a calculator. I click on the cell. I see the black crosshair in the right hand bottom corner. Drag it down and get the total number of stars or get the number of stars for each rating. And now I can sum it up again with the sum function and check out how many stars in total we've got. So we've got 300 stars in total. And this have been done by 98 people. So we can calculate the mean, the total number of stars divided by the total number of votes. And that gives us a mean of 3.06 stars. So that is how we can calculate the mean. Now we also want to sort of find out what is the spread of the data and for that we can use the variance of the data or maybe even better the standard deviation. So let's calculate the variance first and the equation here is this. It looks a little bit horrible but it's not uh, terribly difficult to do. Uh, at the center is the concept of we measure the uh, how far away the star rating is from the mean square that and multiply that by the vote, take the sum of it, and again divide by the number of votes that people have uh, cast for this particular uh, rating. So let's get started with the difference between the rating and the mean, and we square that. So that is, we take the difference between the star rating in this case, zero star minus the mean, what we just calculated, and I lock the cell and square it. So that's this, the first sum of squares, the first square for a zero rating, and now I can do that for all the other cells. Again, I drag it down and I get my square of distances. And now I need to, so we've calculated this part here in the bracket with the square, and now we need to multiply it by the number of votes. So equals the number of votes times this square of the distances. And that, of course, gives us zero. And again, I can drag it down and do that for all of these numbers. So we've got this part here in this horrible looking equation. And now we just need to sum it up. And again, we use the sum function for that and sum it up. And we get the sum, so we get our numerator is 189.63. So that is basically this part here. That's the numerator. And we still have the number of votes, which we have uh, calculated previously. So for the variance, we can now calculate equals, that's this number what we just had in the numerator, divided by the sum of votes, and we get a variance of 1.935 stars squared, actually. 
and uh, very often the variance is not such a really useful thing. Very often we work with the standard deviation and we can very easily calculate the standard deviation. Uh, we just simply take the square root of the variance. So in this case this would be the square root of 1.935 and again we let Excel do all the heavy lifting and say so equals the square root of the number that we just calculated and we get a standard deviation of 1.39 stars for this rating scale. So I hope this makes sense and thank you very much for watching.